Imagine being married to one of the richest men in the world, the Sultan of Brunei, one of the planet's wealthiest individuals. Despite the 33-year age gap, you embrace the role of a second wife, living in the world's most magnificent palace. Surrounded by luxury, you have two wonderful children and a life that seems like a dream. But then, in an instant, everything turns upside down. The splendor, the riches, the titles, and even your beloved children are gone. After the divorce, Azrena's life is stripped bare and she faces the daunting task of starting over. How did she rebuild her life from nothing? And what does her world look like now, 13 years after leaving behind the opulence of the wealthiest monarch on earth? To uncover her story, watch the full video. And if you're intrigued, don't forget to hit like, subscribe for more tales, and ring the bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Let's dive in. Sultan Hassan al Bolkaya, the ruler of Brunei for over half a century boasts a fortune of $28 billion. His fame isn't just for his wealth, but also for his lavish spending. He's the mastermind behind the Istana Nurul Iman Palace, the largest residential palace ever recorded, built at a staggering cost of $1.4 billion. His love for luxury doesn't stop at palaces. The Sultan's car collection is a sight to behold, with over 7,000 high-end cars, including Rolls Royces, Ferraris, and Bentleys. Among these is a jaw-dropping gold-coated Rolls-Royce, reserved only for the grandest of occasions. Even his grooming is extravagant. He's known to spend $20,000 for a single haircut. In his personal life, the Sultan's heart has led him down the aisle more than once, including a marriage to his first cousin and a flight attendant. Sadly, his second marriage ended in heartbreak, leading to his second wife's departure from the palace. Love struck again for the Sultan, this time with Azrina, a vibrant TV journalist from Malaysia. Their 33-year age difference was no barrier in Brunei, where polygamy is permitted. Since he couldn't part with his first wife, Azrina joined the royal family as his second. Their secret wedding was the subject of whispers until the Sultan shared their story with the world. Azrina was just 25 when she stepped into this royal saga with her nearly 60-year-old husband could love truly bridge a vast age difference. Azrina, the Sultan's new bride, was not just a vision of beauty, but also a mind of brilliance. An award-winning journalist, her grace and intellect made her a fitting queen for Brunei's opulent realm. Yet, despite the glittering facade, the young bride and the seasoned Sultan seemed an unlikely pair. His first wife, his companion of many years, still claimed a large part of his heart. At times, the Sultan would step out into the public eye, flanked by both his wives, a sight that raised many eyebrows. While the palace walls kept their secrets, snapshots from those days often captured Ezrina's somber expression, hinting at an inner turmoil. Sharing a husband's affection is a challenge few could envy. In the midst of this, Azrina welcomed two royal heirs, a son, Prince Abdul Wakiel, and a daughter, Princess Amira. But her chapter in the Grand Palace was fleeting. In 2010, the Sultan's announcement of their divorce sent shockwaves across the nation. Perhaps the young queen found the royal family's web of complex relations too daunting to navigate. The Sultan's first wife and his children from previous marriages were less than welcoming to the newcomer. It's plausible that Queen Saleha, desiring to remain unrivaled, influenced the Sultan's decision. The veil of secrecy remains, but one outcome is clear. Queen Saleha now stands alone at the Sultan's side. The reasons behind the divorce are locked away, much like the Sultan's private affairs. Post-divorce, Azrina faced the stark reality of leaving behind her royal life, her titles, and most heartbreakingly, her children. The Sultan decreed they would stay with him, continuing their royal upbringing. For Azrina, the deepest cut was being denied the chance to see her young ones, her four-year-old son and two-year-old daughter. The agony of such a separation is beyond words. Her departure from the palace and the loss of her children mark a chapter of profound sadness and upheaval. Stripped of her royal status, Azrina returned to Malaysia, determined to rebuild her life from the ground up. Yet, amidst newfound joy, a mother's heart never forgets. Azrina's love for her children shines through every word she pens to them, especially on their birthdays. On Instagram, she shared a touching message for her daughter. 
Every day, you're in my thoughts. Your wedding day filled me with pride. You've blossomed into elegance itself. For eight long years post-divorce, Azrina's life was a mystery. But in 2018, the world learned she had found love anew. Her partner, Farooq Khan Abdul Hamid, was a dear friend turned life companion. Their bond, free from royal titles or privileges, seems to be her truest source of happiness. Together, they've welcomed two daughters and revel in life's simple pleasures, travel, celebrations, and precious family moments. Azrina's influence has grown beyond palace walls. As a social media influencer, she connects with countless followers, sharing her journey and insights. Despite lacking the grandeur of her past, Azrina's contentment is palpable. Her life, though simpler, is rich in fulfillment. Yet the pain of separation from her children lingers. Prince Abdul Wakiel, now 16, and Princess Amira, 15, remain with the Sultan out of their mother's embrace. The hope that they might one day reunite, understanding her absence during their youth, is a silent wish that endures. Azrina's tale is a poignant reminder, true wealth isn't measured in gold or grandeur, but in the warmth of a hug from those we hold dear. Let's cherish our moments with loved ones. What do you think? Is it fair to keep a mother from her children? If this story moved you, show your support with a thumbs up. And for more heartfelt stories, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Until our next video, take care.